Okay, welcome to another lens sensor settings test, and we're continuing to work with the Panasonic FC1000 today without a filter. Now here's at all zeros, and there is too much sharpness. You can see that bird flying across, very sharp, and that's a positive thing in some situations, but if you look at the lower parts where the cars are and the waves, they're just too digitally sharpened. That creates a lot of problems. It just gets it's that digital look, and the shadows are too dark as well. So now let's take a look at just the custom settings applied before I apply my new LUT. So these custom settings are a little bit light um, and a little bit flat, but here's my starting point. So this is the Panasonic FC1000 uh, version 1 without a filter in the natural profile with my custom settings. There's a few things that need to be done to this, and so the LUT is going to correct um, the color as far as the saturation. It's going to correct um, tiny things about the dynamic range that need to be sort of changed in the tonal curve. So now let's take a look at the final version with the LUT applied. So here we go. This is the final version. Um, I'll have to say my original exposure maybe was a little too light, but we've got a pretty good result here. I'm actually still struggling with the sharpening level that I apply in post-production, but that's kind of why I still like the versions with the filter. So we're going to do more tests without the filter, but we're also going to do some more with different uh, filters as well. 